This is a special presentation of Manny Pacquiao's Blow by Blow. Any other use of materials, photos, and accounts without MP Promotions consent is strictly prohibited. Previously, Pacquiao presents Blow by Blow. Boy Filipinas, and welcome to another episode of Manny Pacquiao Presents Blow by Blow in partnership with San Miguel Biro Topong in Yung Likod, Tatin Tinito Henson, at uh, inviting you to stay with us for another exciting episode. Sagupan, bakbakan, dito lang po, yan sa Manny Pacquiao Presents Blow by Blow in partnership with San Miguel Biro. 
lahat na mag-iisikira sa ibigyan sa kanila. Tutupan natin ang ibigay ng support. Next year, this Pacquiao Elori Award grant will become bigger than this. Thank you and good night. Samahan niyo kami at dito mag-uumpisa na ang ating bakbakan sa Okada. Sinamalam po nung tito ko sa ano sa Mindaluyong. Tapos dumayo kami ng sparring. Hirap po. Sobrang hirap. <laughs> so po, um, maabot ko yung pangarap ko. Pangarap namin ng mga coach namin na maging world champion. No? at gagawin ko po yung nagkaya ko. Pinagandaan talaga kasi yung kalaban ko is sobrang galing din. Tsaka marami ng experience. All out yung pangarap ko talaga na maging isang ganap na champion din. Soon. Tuloy-tuloy ang bakbakan po natin dito sa Manny Pacquiao Presents Blow by Blow in partnership with San Miguel Beer na sa Okada po tayo ngayon and uh, these boxing fights are also in conjunction with the first Pacquiao El Orde Awards Night. Okada is lavishly beautiful and what a venue this is for our boxing hostilities. Okada Manila Grand Ballroom is our site at nandito po tayo sa Paranaque City, the former congressman, ang kaibigan natin si Bobby Pacquiao. Besides Mr. Dan Barrera, kaibigan na kaibigan natin. Also, from Blow by Blow Productions, our CEO, Ms. Mama Marife Barrera, along with Len Tomas. Huwag niyong pong kalilimutan to subscribe and follow us. Blow by Blow, MP, sa Facebook, sa Instagram, and sa YouTube. All of our activities, all of our events, all of these fights will are brought to you on our social platform. Also, on Free to Air TV. Our rules, no three knockdown rule is in effect, only the referee can stop the fight and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Yan po ang ating mga patakaran sa mga laban natin and uh, the fight coming up is a 10 rounder and this is for the Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship with a weight limit of 118 pounds. Si Lerasan, who was a former WBC Asian Super Flyweight Champion contra Deniega. Both these fighters show excellent records. See, Larasan Poise, 13 wins, 6 by knockout with 5 losses. And uh, his last 5 wins in Bangkok were 1 by knockout. And he has won 6 of his last 7 fights. See, Deniega naman po, what a start in his professional career. 9-0 start, but he lost his last fight in a unanimous decision last October in Japan. Ito na po ang ating tail of the tape. As you see, the advantage of Larasan in terms of reach, four inch reach advantage, both of them are southpaws. Now we'll turn you over to our ring announcer, Ted Lerner. Okay, fight fans, here at the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom in Paranaque City, it's time for your supporting main events of the evening. Now, let's bring out the fighters first. Please welcome Adrian Larasa. Fight fans, we are coming to you live from the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom here in beautiful Paranaque City. As tonight, Manny Pacquiao, MP Promotions, and Johnny Alorde Management International proudly presents Blow by Blow. This next contest, scheduled for 10 rounds, and it is for the Philippine Boxing Federation. 
Bantamweight Championship. Judges scoring this battle ringside on a 10-point must system for Helio Garcia, Altrixia Lorente, Elmer Castillas, and when the bell rings, your third man in the ring, referee Eduardo Nobleza. Okay, fight fans, let's meet the fighters. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner tonight, wearing the black and white trunks. He weighed in at 117 and one half pounds. Fight record, 13 wins, five losses, six wins by knockout. Fighting out of the El Tigre Boxing Stable, Mandaluyong City. Please welcome Adrian La Rosa. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, tonight wearing the black and gold. He also weighed in at 117 and a half pounds. Fight record, nine wins, one loss, six wins by knockout. He hails from down south, General Santos City in Mindanao. Here is RV Den Yega. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds for the Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship. Championship at stake, the Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight title on the line. Deniega contra Larasan. And this is going to be a good one. Si Larasan po, record po niya, as we mentioned earlier, 13 and 5 with 6 knockouts. Now, his last 6 fights were held abroad. His last fight in the Philippines was 2019. And mind you, his last 5 wins were by knockout. He has won 6 of his last 7. The only loss was a knockout in the 5th round to uh, Malajika in uh, South Africa. So he's coming off a win last July over Lakhera, fourth round knockout in Bangkok. Nami po niyan laban sa abroad, so very experienced fighter po si Larasan. Homecoming po ito para kay Larasan. As I mentioned, he hasn't fought here since 2019. Si Danieger man po, he's a shorter boxer. He's wearing the black trunks with gold trimmings. Siya po ay galing Sandman Boxing Stable. Winning his first nine fights. Ang tabag po sa kanya, the crusher. But last fight, he lost by unanimous decision in Tokyo, Japan to Saul Sanchez in October. So trying to get back on a winning track, si RV Deniega. And Deniega just scored with a left straight. Ito naman po si Larasan going to the body as well as Deniega. Pareho po silang kumakatawan at this early stage of the contest. Sabi po natin kanina, no, may uh, height advantage si Larasan. He's standing about uh, two inches taller than uh, the shorter Deniega. Deniega putting some pressure now on Larasan. Magandang laban ito. Both of them are actually southpaws. They're both left-handers, both with very impressive records. Larasan. Missing with a right uppercut. We are scheduled for 10. This is just the first round. A lot of fainting being done by both these fighters. Right jab thrown there by Deniega. Deniega bringing down his right arm as though inviting the left hand from Lerasan. And very quickly raising that right hand and also throwing that right hand. Again, that right hand, very low, swinging down to his hip is Deniega. Oh, some hard shots being detonated by Lerasan. You can hear the sound of the thud of his punches all the way to the back of the grand ballroom of the Okada. And that's the end of round number one, a very tense 
opening frame in our tenor for the PBF Bantamweight Championship. Ang tawag po kay Larasan, The Wild Beast. Wow. Ito, panuulit po natin, Punch of the Round, brought to you by San Miguel Beer. And that left hand connected there by The Wild Beast on the Crusher. Punch of the Round, brought to you by San Miguel Beer. Yan po, nakikita natin si Larasan, a globetrotter, a grizzled veteran, someone who has fought abroad many, many times. And the very impressive thing about Larasan is that five of his wins in Bangkok were by knockout. Paul Apolinario is his trainer. This guy's got power. Six knockouts in 13 wins from the El Tigre gym in Mandaluyong. Turned pro back in 2016. Diniega naman po. This is is his second blow-by-blow -blow outing. Napanood po natin si Deniega in Imus Cavite in a blow-by-blow -blow fight card in May of last year. He scored a third-round knockout over Jonathan Darap. RV Deniega for the Sandman Boxing Stable. Combination thrown by Deniega with a lot of impact. The right jab again by Deniega. A lot more activity coming from Daniel. Again, bringing that right arm down to his side, exposing his right side, and almost inviting Larasan to come in with that left hand. And this is what Daniel wants. He wants an engagement. And Larasan is not backing off. Larasan throwing that dangerous right uppercut. Larasan with a big right hand. And more right hands coming from Garasan. And those punches being thrown by Larasan are coming with bad intentions, that's for sure. RV Deniega. Again, that very uncharacteristic style of bringing down his right arm. But it's a, it's a fast cocking right arm, even if it's down. Ang bilis niyang tumapo ng uh, right hand. Deniega just missing with the left hand. There's a right jab coming from Larasan. Deniega poking that right into the midsection of Larasan. Overhand left, not connecting there. Oh, but nice. Nice right hand coming from Deniega just when you didn't expect it. Biglam bigla. He's throwing that right hand like a lightning streak. Larasan, very experienced. Has fought around the world as far as South Africa. He's closing the distance between the two. And actually, Larazan is playing right down the style of Deniega. Deniega wants this fight in close quarters. He's shorter. He has a shorter reach. And so he wants that distance narrowed between Sha Chakasi Larazan. Bit action packed. It's been close. Referee Eduardo Noblesa. Third man in the ring, and that's the end of round number two. Very tense atmosphere. Saokada, as this fight is being waged. It's a war inside the ring. Larasan contra Deniega. And for Larasan, it's uh, a rather Deniega. Richard Garcia in his corner. Take a look at some shots there, scored by Daniega, the right hand, catching uh, Larasan off guard. 
Deniega's uh, cornerman is actually Paul Apolinario. The Rasa's cornerman is Richard Garcia. Here we go once more, the action continuing. That's a round number three, Naputayo. Deniega surprising Larazan repeatedly with that right hand. It's way down his side, but when he throws it, it's lightning quick. Yerenaman, he pokes that right hand to the midsection of Larazan. What, what the fans want to see is a total engagement. They want to see a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. And both these fighters are now doing exactly that. They're brawling. They're standing toe-to-toe, head-to-head. -to -head. Some nasty uppercuts being thrown by both these fighters. Combination just missed here by Deniega. What a contest between the wild beast and the crusher. Deniega scoring that time with the right hand. He's throwing a lot more rights than his left. And that time, leading off with the left hand and then finishing off with his right. Deniega showing a lot of class here in this contest. Couple of right jabs there thrown by Larasan. Deniega looking to intimidate Larasan. Larasan throwing that right jab. Countering is uh, Deniega. Shot to the body there, a short right hand to the ribs of Larasan by Deniega. Deniega missing with her overhand left. And here comes Larasan. Action in the middle of the ring. Neither fighter pushing the other along the ropes into a corner. A leaping right hand coming from Deniega. And that's because he's got the shorter reach. Here's Larasan. Turn down in the ring, breaking up the fighters. Larasan scoring that time, but Deniega countering. Deniega, again throwing the right hand. Big bombs here being detonated by Larasan as this round comes to a close. It's been tight. Too close to call. But it's the kind of action that the fans came out to watch. Larasa, you see him on your screens. And part of the crowd here at the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom in Paranaque City. Panuri po natin ang punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. Some shots to the body there by Larasan. And watch it here from another angle. Deniega feeling the impact of those punches to the side of the body for sure. We saw his face grimace. As Larasan landing those punches to the body. Round number four. Now underway. We are scheduled for 10. Up! Oh. Adrian Larasan, ang tawag sa kanya, the wild beast. And what about Deniega, known as the crusher? Larasan connecting with the right hand earlier. Larasan, moving closer. Towards his opponent, now he's got Deniega back against the ropes. Deniega trying to fight off the ropes. Larasan throwing uppercuts. Now it, the tables are turned. 
as Deniega spinning away. Now they're back in the center of the ring. Derazan thinking of pushing Deniega against the ropes. Again, this battle of Southpaws has become almost like a tactical fight as both fighters are very careful to de detonate bombs. They're looking to just establish superiority from distance, throwing the jabs, throwing the combinations, the jab straight combinations. For a while, I thought these both, these fighters were looking to engage toe to toe. Now some bombs being exploded. Now they're going to toe to toe. But Deniega can't seem to find a clear target for his shots. Larasan again coming through with that right hand. Larasan is taking advantage of his reach. Sixty-nine inch reach for Larasan against sixty-five for Deniega. And that advantage is proving to be a factor in this fight. Deniega having a difficult time moving in. Larasan throwing that right jab. Just to make sure that Deniega would not be within the strike zone. That time left, right, coming from Deniega. And for Larazan, he's got to keep pumping that right jab just to keep Deniega away. Ten second clapper has been sounded. Nice right hand scored there by Deniega. The, right coming, the round has come to a close. getting instructions from his cornerman Richard Garcia. Manu de put out in a punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. Here we go. They're in the middle of the ring and a shot to the body there by Larasan. Punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. And again, the row of former world champions, that's Herbito Salavaria in between Rolando Navariete and Rene Barrientos, all former world champions in our midst. Derazan going to the body, fighting from a distance. Now coming close to Deniega. Belt line shot coming from Deniega. Uppercuts exchanged by both these fighters. And that's what you, you can expect when they're going head to head, toe to toe. This is the engagement. This is the war that the fans were expecting. Both fighters just exchanging body shots at this stage. They're looking for the opening. And the referee is just letting them go at it in this uh, phone booth exchange. I see some blood coming out of the nose of Deniega. Some hard shots being exchanged. Let's 
Now they back off from a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Now they're at it again. Some bone crunching uh, shots being exchanged to the body. Big right hand scored by Larasan. And Eton Sinasabi Natan about the blood coming out of the nose of Deniega. You see that blood trickling out of the nostrils. And you wonder whether there's some broken cartilage inside that nose. Or the nose could be broken. It could hamper the breathing of Deniega. Well, those are thumping blows scored not just by Larasan but also Deniega to the body. Ten second clapper has sounded. That's the end of the round. And the Niega's cornerman will no doubt take a look at the blood coming out of his nose. And they need to attend to that. They'll probably put some cotton swabs inside that nose to stop the bleeding. Now both fighters electing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the previous round, as you see. Our good friends, Congressman Bobby Pacquiao and Mr. Dan Barrera at ringside. Winchell Campos right behind them. Another good friend of ours from way back some hard shots being exchanged from close distance. Deniega might have had the better of those exchanges, but that's where Deniega wants to fight in close quarters because he does not have the advantage of distance. Four inch reach advantage by Larasan over Deniega. Again, a classic example of that reach advantage. Tumama yung kanan na jab ni Larasan at hindi umabot. The counter jab, ni Deniega. There's that right jab once more. That's the distance that we were talking about That is the advantage of Larasan. And this is what he's doing, Deniega, closing that distance and moving inside. But he's got to be more consistent in applying pressure. Now, it looks like Deniega's cornerman did a good job of stopping the bleeding from the nose. We don't see the dugo coming out of that nose. Deniega, he's counter-punching at this stage because Larasan is initiating. Now remember, Larasan is a knockout puncher. Make no mistake about it. See, Deniega also has six knockouts in nine wins. So both these guys are capable of destruction inside the ring. Larasan is just continuously moving closer and closer. You know, at the same time, ironically, he's keeping a safe distance away. The Raza are always firing. Ito na. Consecutive jabs being thrown by Larasan and finding the mark. Sweeping right, left hand coming from Larasan and Deniega says, let's get it on. At times, si Diniega natamaan ng right hand ni Adrian Larasan. Right-left combination thrown by Diniega. Deniega holding on to Larasan, fighting out of a shoulder roll defense is Deniega. Again, the initiator is uh, Larasan. Referee calling a break. We're in round number six. 
scheduled for 10. Pierce exchange that time as the bell ending that round. Again, another close round for both these fighters. They're getting their licks in, but neither has been able to establish definite control of this fight. Bunch of the round. But Uri Puraten, that was a sweeping left hand coming from Larasan and then trying to follow it up with the right hand. And then Denega just shaking his head saying, no effect. But I thought damage was inflicted in that combination thrown by Larasan. Again, Daniega coming off that loss on points, his only loss so far in Japan last October after a 9-0 start in his professional career. Again, how about you? Hana Nakabai ni Deniega. Ang hinahanap natin dito consistency, not just from Deniega but also from Larasan. Larasan again throwing the double right jab. Deniega scoring with the right hand. Deniega's coming in. You can sense that he's looking to narrow the gap. But as soon as he comes charging in, nakaabag na si Larasan was doing a good job of fending off at Deniega. And for Larasan, that right jab has to be there all the time. Ito, nakatama siya ng right. And then he follows it up with uh, a couple of uh, lefts. Battle of Southpaws unfolding. We're in round number seven. Oh, nice left hand scored by Larasan. And then a left also scored by Deniega. These fighters are just trading solid punches. Series of three blows thrown by Larasan. No reply from Deniega. And Larasan continuing to initiate the action. Deniega just one shot. Deniega just timing his shots. He knows that Larasan is coming in, but when Larasan comes in, he's actually throwing jabs. So while he's coming in, he's maintaining that distance. He doesn't want to get too close to Deniega. Larasan fighting a very smart fight. 10 seconds to go before the end of round number seven. Larasan scoring with big shots. And the end of the round. Deniega, now his nose was bloodied earlier, but it looks like they've fixed that problem. As you see, Johnny Alorda looking dapper with uh, the WBC international judge. Ray Danseco and Ray Danseco, one of the WBC's 
most respected judges and he has uh, officiated in different countries all over the world and bringing honor to our country as you see the role of former world champions and being Peñalosa we see him there also Larasan round number eight Larasan and Deniega battling for the Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship What an explosive fighter this Larasan is. You would expect him to just keep throwing that right jab. All of a sudden, he explodes with a left hand. And both fighters exchanging jabs. Larasan again initiating the exchanges. Larasan very unpredictable with his punches. Watch him as he comes close. He throws that right jab, but you don't know exactly when he's going to throw that left. Benega now looking to be first to throw. But then there's the clinch. Larazan appears to have taken control of this fight. He's just a lot busier than uh, Deniega. Signs of exhaustion now setting in as we are in round number eight. And this, this fight has been fought at a very torrid pace. Minega <laughs> backing off, Marasad scoring. Venega sneaking in a left hand. Less than half a minute to go before the end of this round. Another shot to the body by Larasan, and then another shot to the body by Deniega in retaliation. Some shots may have landed below the belt line. And that's the end of the round. Two more rounds coming up in this tenor for the PBF Bantamweight Championship. It's been close. Now I see Larasan taking some kind of control of this fight. But you can't count out Daniega. He's in there. Yan po nakikita natin si Larasan getting instructions from his cornerman Richard Garcia. Punch of the round. Panoorin po natin. Brought to you by San Miguel Beer. And that shot to the side of the body by Larasan. There you go. And then countering with his own shot to the side of the body was Daniega. So as we said, pareho sila nagkakasakitan dito. And you see Efren Bata Reyes, the billiards king, is in the building. Stop, 
And you know there's less power in the punches being thrown by both these fighters. We're now in round number nine. Patapos na po ang laban natin. And it's still the same pattern of uh, Larasan using that right jab to establish control. Deniega trying to close the distance. And there were instances when both these fighters went toe to toe, displaying exciting action. got thrown there by both these fighters. Deniega needs to put the pressure on. Here's Deniega connecting with some nice uppercuts and uh, right hands. Larasan coming right back, but it's Deniega who's putting pressure now on Larasan. But both these fighters are gassing out. Right hand scored by Larasan. And then, umakap na lang si Deniega. Pareho silang pagod na pagod. Big miss there by Deniega. Again, that's been the story of this fight. Deniega just not able to find the range on a consistent basis. 10 seconds to go before the end of round number 9. Dito pumapanat yung dalawa. Oh, nakatama ng maganda. Si Deniega at the sound of the bell. Deniega with a late flourish. Yan, nakikita natin si Larasan. One more round before this fight comes to a close. There is Deniega. being attended to by Paul Apolinario. And take a look at the punch of the round. So that punch of uh, Larasan caught in the gloves of Deniega. Punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. It's been tense as this fight now goes to the final round. RV Deniega contra Adrian Lerasan. And this is it. It's been close. And this final round might even be the deciding round. Kung sino po makapanalo ng, la ng round na to, baka siya manalo ng laban. Deniega, nice combination. And there's more punches coming from Deniega. Once more, the right jab being thrown by Laraz, and that has been his trump card, yung kanyang right jab. Short right hand scored by Deniega. Right hand scored there by Larasan. That was smack on the face of uh, Deniega. And Deniega countering. Now, this is the action the fans were looking forward to. Just a burst of energy. Tapos, eh, nag-eclinch uh, nag na yung dalawa because 
of the fatigue factor. But here we go again. Both fighters looking to make an impact on the judges in this final round. Shots to the body there by Deniega. And then again, a lot of holding going on. Referee Nobleza asking the fighters to step back. And here we go once more. Larasa and Deniega exchanging, trading. Less than a minute to go. Oh, nice right hand scored by Larasan. Neither fighter has been in danger of going down in this contest. Both of them have connected with some hard shots. That's another right hand scored by Larasan. And Deniega's coming right back. Neither fighter is taking a step away. Matira Mati by Dito. The fight is now coming close to an end. And look at the fighters dishing it out. Now they deserve a big round of applause for what they've shown here. What a horrific exchange of blows to end this fight. Whoa! And both these fighters raising their arms. What a way to end that fight. A fierce exchange of blows and the fans are loving it fans are applauding and our fans enjoying the action raising their fists sino kaya nanalo dito you've got Adrian Larasan is kneeling in his corner Also from PDF, Akito Villamore. Come on in the ring, folks. Eight. Both of them getting their licks. So, hindi natin masabi kung sino yung nanalo ng round na yun. Wow! What a way to end it. And one of the country's best trainers, a former flyweight contender, Edito Ala Villamor, has also been called now the PBF Bantamweight Championship belt is going to be given out to the winner. And here's the eighth division world boxing champion, the living legend, Manny Pacquiao, is in the house. And Senator Manny Pacquiao greeting WBC President Mauricio Sulaiman. And now we have the luminaries inside the ring. And uh, the decision to be announced by ring announcer Ted Lerner. Fight fans here at the Okada Manila Hotel Grand Ballroom. Paranaque City, Metro Manila, in the heart of the Philippines. After 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. All three judges are in agreement. 96-94 from all three judges for the winner by unanimous decision. And now, Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion, R.V. Deniega. R.V. Deniega has won this fight by a unanimous decision. And he's the new PBF Bantamweight Champion. Deniega has done it. And he gets strapped to the belt. And you see Edito Ala Villamor. And also the PBF President Dante Almario inside the rig. Deniega's nose was bloodied, but he comes out unbowed, and he scores a unanimous 10-round decision over Adrian 
Lerasan as he improves his record to 10 and 1 with uh, six knockouts and he kisses the winner's trophy. RV Deniega, the winner of this contest. It was close. Deniega, the winner over Larazan. As you take a look at the highlights of this fight, Sandman Boxing Stable ecstatic over this big win by RV Deniega. And look at Larazan peeing off in round number one and round number two. Once more, Larazan on the attack. And then the shot connected by Deniega to end that round. And now more action. There's the Rasan throwing a lot of leather. And round number four, still more action. A lot of toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting. And some shots to the body, dug deep by Larasan in round number five. More of the same. Both fighters trading, exchanging. And round number six. Here we go. RV Deniega scoring with the right hand and then the left. Sweeping left hand scored by Larasan. Round number seven. More fireworks. And Deniega Starting in and out. Larasan trying to take advantage of his longer reach, his four inch reach advantage. Round number eight. Larasan's gambit of coming close proved to be his disadvantage, as that's exactly what Deniega wanted to do, was to narrow the gap between him and Larasan. And that left hand scored by Deniega as uh, Larasa was coming in. And finally, the last round as both these fighters gave it their all in a display of courage and guts. They went down to the wire and emerging victorious RV Deniega, the new Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion, the winner by a unanimous decision, Arvi Deniega over Adrian Lerasan. Magbabalik po ang blow by blow.